welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a DIY Dollar Tree wall hanging. Could be a front door wreath, could just be a wall hanging, could be spring, could be Easter, could be winter. It can be anything you want. But first we have coffee. Today is gingerbread from Aldi. I like it. It does not scream Christmas to me. It's got a little spice to it, which is what I like the flavor. But anywho, who cares about coffee but me? Me. Mm. Okay, materials, supplies. And like I said, this can all be purchased from Dollar Tree materials. Painter's tape. This happens to be 3M, but they do sell it at the Dollar Tree. A pencil, Dollar Tree. I grabbed a pack of these a while ago. The little mini red solo cuppy thingies. I use them to hold paint because I can't find anything else. I have a big ruler. Any ruler will do. Now, this is one of the Valentine's Day um, gift tag shaped signs. As you can see the hearts here. And all I did was spray paint the back black. Spray paint, not Dollar Tree, but they do sell black paint if you want. You don't have to do this. It's just something I choose to do. And then I end up using that side to do my crafting um now this is actually apple barrel paint i think it's 50 cents at walmart they do sell that dollar tree i think this was like two something i don't have any of either of these colors in chalk paint which is what i would typically use because my walmart all you crafters out there get there before i do but i am my plan haha -ha is to start shopping soon for ooh, all the different colors that I want for crafting of the uh, in the bigger bottles of the chalk paint before the holidays start again. And that's when it tends to run out. So just a little heads up if you know you're gonna be doing cra ouch, crafting, that's Alex. If you know you're gonna be doing crafting, stock up on the paints. I have a couple paint brushes. Again, they do sell at the Dollar Tree. Now, I'm I have some ribbon. I may or may not use it. This is navy blue with a silver streak, Dollar Tree, and some twine. And I will tell you, I buy these little these little um, trays. I have a whole bunch. I'm looking over there because that's where they're stacked. And what I do is if I know I have a project coming up, I just collect all my materials and store them until I'm ready to do the project. Now, I'm not using this, but you can. These eucalyptus, it's, um, this is vine, but I, um, you would just make a wreath out of it. But I purchased, and I'm partial to boxwood, I purchased this at Target for, um, I don't know, $3? Well, I can look. $3. However, to keep this, to be fair, you can get greenery at Dollar Tree and just make a circle out of that. You can also use anything. You don't have to use boxwood or eucalyptus or anything like that. That is just what I'm choosing to use because I like it and it will look good in my living room. I like the green with the blue. Um, you could also put little flowers in here, whatever. You do you. But I'm saying this can all be done. And then eventually I will need my glue gun. But for right now, we need to paint this board. Um, and I'm going to do two different colors. Also, from Dollar Tree, a paint pen. I'm using black. Maybe I'll use gold. I don't know. I also have gold. I have white. My plan is black. Could go with gold. And I'm not even getting my Cricut out for this, guys. Because I hear you. I know that you don't all have a Cricut. And I understand that completely. So, I'm doing this freehand. Pray for me. But it's going to happen. And it's going to get hung up. So let's move some things around. I'm going to change your position. I am going to show you how I'm going to line this up with my ruler, and then we're going to get to painting. So uh, like I said, I know I'm using that. I'm going to put it on here where I think it's going to go. And then I'm using this ruler, but you can use any ruler you want. And I'm going to be writing welcome here. So I'm lining it up so it's nice and straight. And then I'm taking my pencil and I'm just giving myself some lines. Because that's how I like it. Oh, sorry for the shadowing. 
This is probably going to take several coats if I had to guess. If you are more comfortable, hello, and you don't want to draw lines in paint, you can, of course, use the painter's tape. That's why I got it out. We'll see. I may do the white and then put the painter's tape just to get a clear line for myself. So this is really thin paint. So, and also what's great is um, I do want to go over that line, you know? So you do your white, however many coats you need. And then you go back with the blue is what I plan to do once this white is on here and dry, which does take a little while. You can use your hair dryer. Um, or if you have a um, heat gun, I do not have a heat gun. I want to over the white, I want to go over my lines so that, um, oh, lint. when I do the blue, I'll get a crisp line. So I'm just going to paint this white, let it dry, and then put on several coats. And I will come back when the white is completely dry and it is ready for the blue to go on, okay? So it'll take definitely one more, maybe two more coats. All painted, I just did navy blue and white. Now, I didn't use the painter's tape because I'm gonna outline this in black and I did one coat, but then I needed to paint another coat of white. So, literally taking literally paint pen from the Dollar Tree. Just want to make sure you got plenty of paint down there. Line this up. It's just a ruler on your line between the black and I'm sorry, between the navy blue and the white. And you want to make sure it's straight up and down and you just draw a line. Then you want to lift it straight up. Don't slide it. If you slide it, you're going to end up with um, smearing your black paint pen. Now, if you use like a Sharpie or something, it may or may not smear. I'm just getting a wet wipe. Not, <laughs> not one of my antibacterial ones. And then I just make sure I wipe the ink off of the ruler. And then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna do the same exact thing. Right here, we're gonna line it up. You just wanna take your time, make sure it's straight, pen up and down. And then lift it up. And I just push on the bottom and then I wipe this off. But that's it, that is it to make it clean. Another detail that I do is I paint the sides. Now it's not perfect where the blue and the white are, but I do paint them you could go around with this black pen as well. Now that everything is straight, pray with me, I'm gonna handwrite this because I said it would be all Dollar Tree. Huh, I'm not a good handwriter, I'm not gonna lie there. But we're gonna, we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna practice right here. Okay, I practiced, wrote it up here. So I can see what I'm doing and then I'm just gonna go for it. And if it doesn't work out, you just paint over it and do it again. Not a big deal. Ooh, that's a lovely noise. All right, there's my W. Sorry about the noise. Okay, I did it. I'm not mad at that. I mean, is it perfect? No. Would I like to do some touching up? Yes. Am I probably gonna mess it up by touching it up? Probably. There, I fixed that and I would like this to be just a little further out. Okay, stop. Stop what you're doing. Don't do any more. So there, handwritten. We can do this, guys. We are crafters. 
Um, I need scissors. I cleaned up while this was drying. And now I gotta pull everything back out. I wanna make a hanger. First, for a couple reasons. I'm gonna be gluing over this hole up here. Um, but I wanna hang this on a hook. So I do it like this for a reason. If you just feed it through and tie it, it wants to it wants to turn sideways. But if you do it through here and then loop it around, it's called a lark's head, it will lay flat for you on the wall. So there's that. Just a little detail, nothing major. And then I'm gonna tie this knot. I don't need it super long. Um, since I'm not putting a bow or anything up here to cover it, like there'll be covering, but not a bow. And I pulled that pretty tight, right? Tight. And then I'm just gonna cut it. Now that's gonna stay right up here. And I'm gonna hook it in. But what I would like to do with my greenery is a piece of ribbon for just a detail. So, I'm gonna go through here and pull it out. It's not, I'm gonna hot glue probably the wreath to the um, sign in a couple spots, but I would like just this little bit of detail. So, I don't think I have a lighter up here. I, we actually, I do. I'm going to go grab it. Oops. Watch your hands. I'm just being careful. I'm going to get a lighter and I'm going to burn this so it doesn't um, fray on me. You can do that with broguing ribbon. I wouldn't do it if you're using like a gossamer or something else. But this ribbon here can take it. So I do this all the time. Take a lighter. And you just, you're basically melting it. You don't want to catch it on fire. Oh, no lighter. Is it going to die on me right now? Um, if you're not comfortable using a flame, put some glue. Oh, there we go. Put some glue on it. Bam. So I'll show you. It just melts it, but it keeps it from fraying. Now, this is the top. I know that because there's a gap. So we just pull it up here. And then you decide how high up you would like it. Right, I want mine probably here. So I really do need to <laughs> trim it again. And you can melt both at one time. Not a problem. Just be careful and don't touch that. That it, it's melted material. Okay, there we go. Perfect. This is exactly how I would like it. So I have it where I want it. Get my glue. And I just put the glue up there because I'm going to use this ribbon to color that, cover the string. You do not have to do that. Also, I, it only covers one layer. Um, so you want to do that. Um, when you melt them together with the ribbon, they will stick, but you really want to have, it won't hold it up here. Now, if you want a bow, you can put a bow right here. I don't. But if you do, go for it. You can put anything you want right here. So what I am gonna do is just put a couple little dots of glue. Nothing of any dramatic, it's not heavy at all. So I don't have to worry about it waving it down. I just don't want it flopping back and forth. So there's a couple spots I see that it will touch. So I'm just going to put the glue on those two spots. 
right? And then I just hold it down. And this is wire in here at the base. And then I'm just letting it sit and then I'm fluffing up my greenery. And like I said, you could put something in the middle. Oh, like your initial in there. You can put a picture. Is that not glued down? Well, well howdy doody. And that's it. I'll hang it up downstairs and I'll show you what it looks like, but I love it. So hold on. And here it is. Guys, I like it a lot. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I think an initial in the middle would be fantastic. You can even put like your street number, your name, a picture, anything. But I'm pretty in love with how it turned out. And I hope you are too. Thank you so much for watching and you have a fantastic day. Bye.